Hello everybody, welcome to Rosebank Farm. We're gonna do a project today to decorate my front porch for fall. So I've already um, bundled together corn stalks from my garden and put some scarecrows up on um, the supports of the front porch here. And so those are done. And what we need to do right now is to plant up some pots. So I'm gonna move in a little closer and show you what we need to do. I've had these gray pots for a while. I really like them because um, the trim on my house is gray. Let me show you that. See the trim around my door is gray. And here's a window. You can see that the gray is just a light gray compared to the aluminum siding of my house. So it's just a very light gray, but gray is my accent color. So these gray planters had pansies that lasted pretty much the whole summer. And there were purplish pink tulips in the middle that I had bought um, for spring and they just stayed in there. So we're gonna repot the tulip bulbs. Um, let's go over here to the other one. Um, same thing, the pansies just didn't quite make it the whole summer and then there's the tulips. So we're gonna repot those into a clay pot for the winter and see how they do next spring. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, fill this clay pot up with dirt up to about six inches down from the top. So it's a pretty good size. Um, and so we're just gonna fill it up with dirt and then we'll add the tulips. All right, so I'm just gonna get the tulips out of the old pot and you just put them in with the point up and I'm just going to just set them in here. Okay, and now we're going to get the tulips out of the other pot. The next thing I'm going to do for the tulips, um, now that I've got them all placed in here, is we're going to add a little bit of bone meal. This will give them um, energy to bloom in the spring. So we're going to sprinkle the bone meal on top. It's a really fine powder and it smells really bad, so I'm going to try not to breathe it while I'm doing it. Um, you might want to wear a mask when you're working with the bone meal because um, the wind can blow it. So now we're gonna just fill the pot the rest of the way up to the top with dirt. Okay, so I'm gonna take this pot inside on my porch where it's protected from the weather but it'll still get the freezing cold temperatures and sunlight. And I'm just gonna leave it on my porch for the winter. And I'm gonna bring it outside, um, probably the end of March, um, beginning of April, I'll just bring it outside. So that's it, the tulips have been transplanted and I'm done with that part of the project. Okay. Um, I'm gonna reuse this flower pot from last year. I think it's adorable. It's got drainage holes in the bottom, so we're all set, so I'm just gonna add um, some dirt and we're going to pot it up with this mum. I'm not adding any fertilizer this time of year. Um, this is just to enjoy for the next couple of weeks. So let's pot up this mum in this container.
so this mom is potted up and ready to go for the season. I just love how it looks in this pot with the jack-o'-lantern face. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so let's move on to the next part of the project. So we're just going to put these white moms, aren't they beautiful? Um, we're gonna put these in the gray planters and put them up on the porch. One down and one to go. Let's get this last beautiful mom in the pot. Well, that's it. I'm decorating for fall with the flowers. Um, just love the look of the flowers. The white moms, my jack-o'-lantern planter to add some color and then the scarecrows. And I think that is a festive fall look and just brightens up the front of our house. So hope you got some ideas for decorating for fall for your home. And please like and subscribe to Rosebank Farm. See you in the next video, bye.